And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shen to kick off Rank Up Sunday. That's right, it's the day that we, day of the week, that we kind of go back through some decks that did really well, like 5-0s or 4-1s, or decks that I just kind of recommend r ranking up with, or just for myself that I would uh, play for ranking up. And so that's what we got going today. We got three decks that we've played before. With the Jarvan Shen, LeBlanc, Frostbite, Twisted Kindred, all did well with all of those. And then I'm going to be playing Diana Aphelios, which is basically just kind of an updated take on the Nightfall aggro that we played, um, you know, a while ago as well. So this is what we like to do on Sundays. We just had the new expansion come out, so we didn't have rank up Sundays while like the metagame was still um, taking uh, shape and stuff, and while we were still just experimenting and everything. You know, want to take a couple of weeks to experiment. But now let's kind of go back and replay some of the decks that did well. And that's what that's our plan for Sundays. All right, so we got Jarvan Shen. This one is very similar to Fiora Shen, if you're familiar with Fiora Shen. But instead of playing Fiora at the three mana slot, we got Laurent Protege. And then instead of playing something like Scythria at the six mana slot, we got Jarvan. Which is not necessarily like an, an upgrade of changing those two. Um, but I don't think it's that much of a downgrade. Fiora is really, really powerful, but Jarvan's not bad either. And Jarvan works really well with Shen because um, Jarvan comes in with Barrier, which you know helps your Shen level up because uh, Shen needs to see allies gain Barrier four plus times. But then also because Shen attacks with units with Barrier, usually um, the thing with you know with barrier is going to be surviving combat shen does a good job of surviving combat also having the five health even laurent protege that we're playing this instead of fiora protege does a really good job of surviving combat with the four health you know like, there's a lot of like three twos and stuff you get to challenge with protege where you know it'd be harder to challenge with fiora and so of course the, the reason why the, the, i'm talking about like all those surviving dam you know surviving attacking is because that's how you level up jarvan you need to have um four plus allies survive damage from enemy blockers and then once because that's really where jarvan gets real powerful is um you know regular jarvan not bad not bad but level up jarvan really good because round start you get to create a cataclysm just have an extra cataclysm every single turn is pretty awesome and so that's kind of what our deck is doing now besides shen and jarvan we basically have a third champion in here with river shaper River Shaper is going to be um, a big part of our deck, trying to have River Shaper on three, try to protect River Shaper, have it strike a bunch, because then we can draw a bunch of spells, and then those spells protect the River Shaper, so it strikes more, so it draws more spells that protect River Shaper. You, you kind of get the idea, right? It's just it's just a never-ending cycle. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. We made one change since the last time whenever we played this deck that we talked about at the end of the video. We had two Bright Steel formations in last time, and they were kind of slow in a lot of matchups. So we're going to cut that down to one, and we're going to play a third Deny. Deny was a card that we wanted a lot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Jarvan Shen. We're, it's rank up day. Here we go. We'll go play our five games in ranked. No, single combat does not count for... Jarvan Force level up. Even if it's during, even if you use a single combat during combat, that doesn't count. All right, Twisted Fate Fizz is a deck with some smaller things, which means we really want our challengers. I like Golden Ages in the attacking thing, but I think I just want to kind of mulligan this type of stuff. Um, I would like Protege. Oh man, lots of four mana spells. Wow. <laughs> well, you can see the variety of four mana spells that we have. This was a pretty poor mulligan. Pretty poor mulligan. So I don't really want to play River Shaper right there. I know like that's like maybe obviously like, oh, just play River Shaper attack. But, you know, I didn't have, I couldn't play any of my protection spells for the River Shaper at that point. And also their attack with Mystic Shots and Get Excited. And so it was very easy for them just to kill my River Shaper. I couldn't protect it, and then we're looking at all these spells that really wouldn't do anything afterwards. Ooh. I do have the Sharp Sight now for protection. For the River Shaper from a Mystic Shot. And of course we do want to challenge this Twisted Fate. For obvious reasons. Level up Twisted Fate. 
is maybe the best card in the game once it's leveled up. Oh, discard two stress testing. They're gonna run out of room, right? No, I guess not. I guess they have exactly ten. Keep up, keep up. Not sure if I want to attack with this River Shaper. I don't want to be forced to have to use my Sharp Sight immediately right now. And there we go. So they, they discarded Mind Meld. Seven is a tough amount of mana for us. I feel like I need to just pass also. This definitely just feels like get excited. Like, I, I do the rally thing, they get excited. And then they get to attack afterwards. So they are going to get excited, you know, like, I want the the thing that's the most protected to challenge the Twisted Fate, right? Because we want to kill the, tw the Twisted Fate. No, y the Jarvan is not optional. If you have the six mana, it will come in attacking. So the, the only way to keep it, so you have to, like, spend, you know, you can play spells and spend your mana so that you don't have the mana for Jarvan. But no, it's not, it's not a choice. It will come into play attacking. Please don't have Mystic Shot. They, they just played one. Please don't have another. Let it happen. Let it happen. Alright. Let's level up Jarvan. That means we'll have Cataclysm to start the turn. The round, I guess. To the flag. Oh, how about that? We're still at 20. They have 10 cards in hand, though. They got lots of cards. So 8 mana. I get to play 2 cards this turn. I can play, like, you know, Cataclysm plus Golden Ages. They're passing to me. I mean, I'll go and play this. Jarvan is sweet.
hope it works. It, it had, it did feel like, yeah, it did feel like earlier they had to get excited. Mm. They did. I'm pretty sure we still get the rally though. Yeah, so we still get the rally. But that's still get excited that's not coming upstairs. It's not, you know, going to my Nexus. Well, that's 14 damage. <laughs> Pretty crazy amount of damage. I've already played two Get Exciteds. So obviously I need to play Sharp Side or Deny. I need to play one of these two. Prepare yourself. It's just which one do I want to play. I think it's the Deny and save the Sharp Side. Card to challenge. Jarvin. It's pretty nice for Wiggly Burblefish just to create spells. So you have spells to discard. It's pretty nice. Super worried about the Fizz right now. Especially how they weren't attacking with the Fizz. I'm not super worried about it. We didn't need to use Concerted Strike on it right now. I think we're gonna have this. I think our, our challengers. I think we got this. I guess they drew get it. Wow, they drew the third get excited. All right. All right, well, they drew the third, get excited. So, my poor, my Jarvan died, but Jarvan put in a ton of work, though, with all those cataclysms, all the attacking with the barriers, killed a bunch of stuff. Jarvan put in a lot of work. We'll just consider strike the 1-1, one, one, I guess, but all right. All right, there we go. 1-0, Jarvan Chen. Look at that. Jarvan put in all that work. Good job, Jarvan. The first card played in that entire game was my opponent playing a Twisted Fate. <laughs> you wouldn't think that if your opponent plays Twisted Fate as the very first card in the whole game, you're probably not doing too good, but we end up getting there. All right, Lucian Azir. We'll get rid of Deny. This is where we're going to need Caretaker for a cheap blocker but I guess you know what I guess we'll keep deny now that I think about it you're covered nature blesses 
their followers. Push back the darkness. Hmm. Well, perfect one drop, two drop for them so far. Why does everything cost four mana in our deck? Everything costs four mana. I walk the space between worlds. I find them unworthy. Nature blesses her followers. So right now the caretaker is a five one. You know, if we play Spirit's Refuge next turn, it'll be a seven one. Nature blesses her followers. That could be important. Healing my Nexus for all that. But this Lucian level up is about to happen. I don't have a challenger. I don't have a fight spell. All right, let's mess some folks up. Nature blesses her followers. It's time to get round. I just, I'm obviously doing this, it's just in my block in. And yeah, I think so. That turns that thing into a 3 4. Yeah, I think we block. So they've already wasted their free attack for the turn. Alright, so they're they're willing to trade Lucian for Shen. Okay, so this leaves them... Which I guess that would have been better for me just to have Shen block the 2-1, take another 2, and then have my 11 health thing block over here. But this this leaves them not able to block the Shen. Leaves me, you know, challenging right here. Killing the Lucian still. I guess I could still be at 20 if I would have... I could have the Shen be a 4-4 and me at 20 if I would have changed how I blocked. Ooh, River Shaper. There we go. Alright, 2-0. Jarvan coming in clutch. I think that Green Glade Caretaker did a lot for a 1-drop. <laughs> Healed a little bit. Back to Azir. Head on over to Quinn now. I'm getting rid of Lucian. Alright, we'll get rid of the Deny, but I'm going to keep the 135 with the two challengers. No barrier cards right now, though. This would be a good time to find a Shen. Shen would fit our curve perfectly, it would help us get some barriers. We also have a million four mana spells, as we have seen in the first two games. And so any of those four mana barrier spells would be welcome. I guess that would count. These woods protect their own. <laughs> yeah, Ryukin MVP. Ryukin continues to bet lose so we can win. <laughs> Take him off for the good of the team.
Okay. I mean, I'll trade my one drop for their two mana scout challenger. That's a, a valuable scout challenger. This turn, though, I guess I protege. I could pass. Pass doesn't look so bad. They don't waste any mana. It keeps a combat spell from killing my 2-4. Right, like I do this, they go Shape Stone or Sharp Sight. And they kill the 2-4. It's only, like, if I, it's only one damage I'm getting in there. No, I guess I'll do it. I'm expecting either Shape Stone or Sharp Sight. So maybe passing is the thing to do. I, I'm not sure. I could kind of be convinced either way. Because it does get like the trick out of their hand, so they don't use it later on you know something more valuable like the dragon. Like they're only saving like that little tutu that is whatever. Now they they can still develop. If I would pass the turn, they wouldn't get to develop anymore. So we'll see. We'll see how that ends up going. All right, let's mess some folks up. Who does not know the name Laurent? Time to get rowdy. Here we go. By waiting a turn to block again, they can just use another trick here. But by waiting a turn to block, then they, you know, like if if we block the first attack, then they get to you know attack him with like the two one and the three four, and it's so like maybe we're at fifteen. Now we're at seventeen. Okay, well that's that's really not too bad. They use the trick and kill that grizzled ranger. Inspiring Marshall definitely really scary. This card is awesome. Not only is that ability really good, but a 4-6 body on a 5 drop is really strong. That was a good card. Do you think Tarek should have the same base stats as Shen? No, I mean, I think I think Tarek has better base stats than Shen. Like, Tarek's not as good at blocking, but it's better at attacking. A 3-4 tough is a better attacker than a 3-5. So I, I think it's comparable. And just fine. So the thing really is... So I, I can go repost, kill Quinn. Or I just let this happen... And then, what, Golden Ages? I'm gonna repose block. And I'll just go ahead and trade my one drop for the 3 4. I mean, I guess I don't have to trade the one drop for the 3 4. But it's probably a pretty decent trade. So then we're we're left with Shen and Screeching Dragon in play with three cards. They're left with Inspiring Marshall, which is good, but then a stupid two one and three cards. I think this is perfectly fine. I don't think there's any problem with Tarek. I think Tarek's really good. Yeah, I guess I guess if there's a I guess that would be the thing. If if there is a problem with Terra, it would be Aphelios is in the same region, that's true. That could that could be the problem with Terra. Does it have a gift 
from the river folk. Very good quicksand for the opponent. That was a very good card. And good concerted strike draw. One mana short from playing two different things. It's still worth it though. Who knows, maybe we draw like a sharp sight that we get to also play. Wow. What? I thought they would be out of combat tricks by now, but I guess not. That is not a good sign for me. Huh. I get that under deny. Well. You will be scoured from this land with Azir's blessings. <sighs> That's not so good. Might as well just block Currents, this thing. Pull them down. Go to five. I can't have everything die, obviously. So that gives me, that turns this into three health, which of course is important against this Clockling. And now I can play the Golden Ages. And kill that. All right, dragon. I'm trying to ride the dragon to victory. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Ugh. That's not the best. That's not the best. Good. Yay. Give me something to, to deny. Good. We got something to deny. Yeah, I still have the one Bright Steel formation in the deck, yep. So we go down to three. I mean, if they open attacked, I would have just, you know, I would have blocked the Sand Soldier. It wouldn't have changed too much how this played out. It, this definitely played out better for me, but it's not like they just like, threw super hard. Like, I, that's probably the right thing to do is to play that card. Uh, these two single like these are maybe like our three worst draws like our second deny and then like these single combats these are maybe the worst cards in our deck to draw okay now the single combat looks better would you look at this place I walk this too slow, stupid. all right that should be game I don't... Yeah, that should be game. So, so they just... They they drew one of these two last turn and just didn't play them. I think I think it was the... Prep, like, did they just draw that preparations last turn and just not play it and just not do the predict? Like, which one of these two last turns they just hold on to and just not even play? Like, the Rock Hopper? All right, there we go. 3 and 0. Jarvan Shen. Ended up getting there. All right, Garen Siver.
Let's send them all back. Let's get some River Shaper, some Shen. Okay, I like the Sharp Sight. No, no Vladimir Braum today, because we just played it the other day. But that is a good... Uh, that's a good rank up deck as well. River Shaper's friend, Laurent Protégé. This is a good draw. Are they going Sivir? They are going Sivir. So I'm going to, you know, get two for one tier. So we're going to go Protégé plus Sharp Sight. Please not plus zero plus two. Just get like regen or something lame. Yeah, Fearsome, that's something lame. Alright, those things are burst. I get to do both of them. Yeah, you just get plus one, plus zero, or something lame. It's Challenger? No. Well, that's not cool. No, Jarvan costs six mana. We're gonna, next turn's turn five. We couldn't, couldn't Jarvan next turn. I missed out on two damage by not attacking. That's not that much damage. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. I mean, I guess I just attack for ten. Yeah, because I got single combats. It must be done. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. Those aren't really worth single combat. That's what's up. They appeared out of nowhere. Boo. Boo. Alright, I'm gonna kill that. Yeah, so Shen's at two. But barrier right now? No. That card's good. Alright, this should work. Like, if this if this works, this should be this Jarvan leveling up. It's at 2 out of 4 currently. So, like, survive, survive. Silence. Take nine. <laughs> yeah, Jarvin. Jarvin, sweet. I have urgent news you don't understand. <laughs> Perhaps they realize they've already lost. Make way. <laughs> I have urgent news. Yeah, Jarvin, throwing some shade. Okay. So yeah, I could. So we can kill the Cythria with like single combat couple of different ways. I don't know if we really need to, though. 
It's probably fine. Like, they just have the Scythria alive and nothing else. I think we're probably fine. Yeah, Jarvan's level of animation is sweet. Home, Alabama. Whoa, okay. Now we got a problem. Alright, so what do you... So you're a six right now? worth it. To the flag. I don't have any challenger right now. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. We fight for those who cannot. Honor guide me. I sense an imbalance. All right, sweet. There we go, Jarvan Shen, 4 and 0. Raise our banners. Demacia prevails. Demacia prevails. Let's go. <laughs> yep, yep, Harvey snoozing well. <laughs> you can, uh, I've just. There you go. If I stretch way out of the way, you can see Harvey. <laughs> A little big for that, that bed, but. The other doggo is right here next to me, snoozing well as also. I should play Do Demacia some more. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I want to keep playing everything, though. You know, I, I like to play everything. All right, the four mana spells are definitely gone. We're keeping the dragon. It's the, the Bright Steel Protector. I kind of think it's going to be gone, too. Mm, no, I'll keep it. It was just, like, generic two mana, three, two... It's not that bad. Like it, it matches up okay against the uh, one three, the two mana one three. You're a meatbag. Oh no. Worst draw in the deck. This game is going to be over before turn nine. We good thing we only have the one Bright Steel Formation in our deck, instead of two like we did last time. Gross. That twist of fate's gonna be leveled up very quickly. It's already at five. So if they have a good hand with rummage, they can level it up right now. I'd like them just to go no, they just leveled it up. I was gonna say I'd like them just to go like get excited plus mystic shot to try to kill the Challenger instead, and then we sharp side and then kill Twisted Fate. But how crazy is that, right? Like, they just play the Twisted Fate and before my attack the next turn. It's already leveled up. Eight cards. Eight cards they just drew. Like, it was nothing. Soak it in. Yeah, not even like two turns. It was like one turn. Alright, this is just like the best possible. It's like the best possible Twisted Fate. 
in hand and just like, Fizz is leveled up also, and they... It's just like the best possible for both of those. Yeah, this this is the best twisted fate fizz hand I've ever seen. Back at the table. Who does not know the name Laurent? Soak it in. Well, I think I think we're favored in this matchup with like our our challengers and stuff. And we saw us win this matchup earlier with us both having four hands. But this is an incredible hand that they have. This was simply incredible. Yeah, I don't I don't have anything else to say besides this was just simply incredible. Leveled up Twisted Fate and Fizz on turn five, and then both both getting suit up. And then another Yeah, this this is just incredible. I'm a people person. Well, that's what's going to take to defeat Jarvan Shen is the best hand of all time. I've played against a lot of Twisted Fate Fizz and I've never seen anything like this game. Alright, so that's that's not a match I, I mind playing. You know, we beat it, I think, twi I think we were 2-0 against, if I remember correctly, I may not, but if I remember correctly, I think the first time we played Jarvan Shen we were 2-0 against that Twisted Fate Fizz and we were 1-0 earlier. But wow, that last hand was was unreal. Um, yeah, that was crazy. But anyway, uh, I still really like this deck. You know, we were four four and zero before that, which obviously that's really good. Like being four and one in ranked, you'll take that every time. Like eighty percent win rate. You know, we'll we'll definitely take that. Jarvin looked great. It really did. Uh, we got to level up Jarvin quite a bit in these games. We had a couple of games where just like the Jarvin's Cataclysm really pulled me ahead and had me uh, win with the leveled up Jarvin. Screeching Dragon, of course, was incredible with the Fury continuing to grow so it could uh, kill thing after thing after thing and stay alive. Um, and then, you know, we had all these spells. The thing that was really impressive is that we were 4-1 and one, and we really didn't have any River Shaper games. River Sh like last time we played this, we relied on River Shaper in most all of our games and like we were winning off the back of River Shaper's card advantage. And in these games, we just, we didn't. Right, like we, we just didn't really have River Shapers or anything. And so the fact that we were still winning even without the uh, card advantage that River Shaper can provide, that that's what was really impressive with these games is that we were um, instead going with um, Protege, Shen, Screeching Dragon, Jarvan, and even the Green Glade Caretakers. Remember last time? we didn't. I don't think we even played a Green Glade Caretaker in the other five games. In these games, Green Glade Caretakers were awesome and they were um, really important, especially against some of those Azir decks how we were uh, giving like the lifesteal barrier to this and being able to hit multiple times in one turn with the lifesteal. So yeah, pretty awesome deck. Definitely the best Jarvan deck, in my opinion. And Jarvan just fits really well with barrier, with other barrier stuff, fits really well with Shen, because um, Shen just does a, such a good job of having things attack and stay alive, which is exactly what you want for Jarvan. The Bright Seal formation, again, looks slow. Um, you know, this could be cut, and, you know, you can play another one drop. You can play another single combat. You can play a Nopify 
if you think that a Nopify would be nice to have against you know your Mystic Shots and get excited, but then also against your Aphelios Moon Weapons. We didn't we didn't face any Aphelios in here, um, but a, a Nopify could be in there instead of the formation if if you just play this deck more and if Bright Seal formation is um, just kind of always stuck in hand. That's another this is another option here. But that's a great, great uh, way to start our rank up Sunday with Jarvan Chen. So those of you all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Y'all really liked this deck last time. Hopefully y'all are still enjoying the deck. If you've been playing it in between, let me know how it's been going for you, how you've been doing with Jarvan and everything like that. I'd love to hear about it. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.